Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at fixing the Windows Explorer freezer crash mostly in Windows 7. This would be you open Windows Explorer as you see here in the screen and it just sits there and freezes, a little hourglass spins, nothing happens, you have to force out of it, reboot to get it to work. Well I've had this problem ongoing for probably a couple months now and after six cups of coffee this morning I said I'm going to fix this and let people know. On the link in the video below, you'll find a link to the complete story on this, and that includes the stuff that I tried that I found in other places, and they go from scanning for malware to reinstalling Windows to downloading specific fixes from Microsoft. But here's what worked for me. I downloaded Shell XView. Uh, you take the zip file, extract it. It'll make a folder, and then you go to the Shell XView EXE, run it. What that's going to do is going to list all your shell extensions. Uh, for example, a shell extension would be if I right click on something, for example, see the scan with Panda Cloud Antivirus, that's a shell extension. You may have WinZip, WinRAR, CQueen, or something like that that gives you options to do something. Those are the shell extensions, and a good chance that's what's causing your crash, something you installed. What it is is the problem. So I come to Shell Extension View, and I list by description that pushes Microsoft down to the bottom and everything after M pass there. It just helps me out a little bit. You can see WinRAR. What you're looking for is third-party programs you installed where you don't use the shell extension. And basically what I did here is I actually suspected it was Acronis, so I disabled that, and I believe that did fix my problem. But you can go through here and disable anything you don't want to use. However, you want to be a little careful. You're looking for third-party programs. Don't disable the Microsoft stuff. I haven't found any problems with that. If you don't know what it is, don't disable it. Another option is if you know when your problem started, this is kind of cool. Let's say I know the problem started last week. Well, if you slide this little sucker here right over, you can come into, where'd it go? Yeah, leave it to me to screw up in the middle of the video. File created time? That sounds good. And you can see right here I installed something on May 15th. So if I know the problem started right around there, I can see that it would be something from iTunes which I did install. So all you need to do here is right click and select disable selected items and then confirm. So in this case I've already solved my problem so I'm not going to play with it but I just wanted to show you guys this give you something a little visual to go along with the story that shows you how to fix it. Like I said it took me a couple of months and a lot of it's just laziness. I'm like eh no biggie I'll close it I'll reboot and I'll, uh, I'll get to it later. Well today's the day I hope this fixes your problem if you're having these crashes or freezes in Windows 7. It may work in other operating systems too, however, it's been my experience. This is very specific to Windows 7. It's, it is out there in other operating systems, but not much. So, Check out the link below to the complete article. There's a couple screenshots in there as well. And we thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time.